I'm Julius Peppers, and this is my three-point stance. This week, we're going to take a look at the Jacksonville Jaguars offense. Um, a lot of people are talking about Minshew mania, but we're, first, we're going to take a look at some of the sets and formations that's showing up on the tape. Jacksonville is going to mostly use 11 personnel because that's what the NFL is now, is 11 personnel league. But last week against Denver, they featured 12 jumbo. 12 jumbo is going to be an extra offensive lineman in the game in place for one of the tight ends. As you can see right here, they just have this guy in number 77 to go up to the next level, get a bigger body on that safety, create some more space, get the ball down to the one yard line. A lot of people are focusing on the quarterback, but in my eyes, the, the main piece to this offense is Leonard Fournette in the running game. When you look at Leonard Fournette, he's the type of player, and they use him in such a way that they want to hit you with body blows. They're going to hit you with the same play a few times throughout the course of the game and get three yards here, four yards there. Then all of a, all of a sudden, he's going to find one of these creases and, going to, and he's going to explode for a big game. So on this play, you'll see them in this U-wing set that's similar to the one we showed earlier with the 12 jumbo. This is just regular 12 personnel, so they had the tight end back in the game. And this is just going to be a regular outside zone play. He puts his foot in the ground, goes downhill, and he, he's out of the gate for a big game right here. These are the type of plays you have to eliminate playing against a team like this because this is their whole game. Their whole game is based around running the ball, managing the game, and having explosive runs like this. The reason that this game is this ground game is so effective is because of the offensive line play. Most of us are familiar with Andrew Norwell, who played here for a long time. And on this particular play, he gets pretty decent movement against the tackle. And again, this is a short play. It's only a two or three yard game, but it's a body blow. Over the course of the game, this stuff wears on you as a defender. And by the time the fourth quarter comes, you get tired of tackling this running back. You get tired of taking on these blocks. And then all of a sudden, one gets out of the gate on you. So this play occurs late in the fourth quarter against Tennessee. And um, Tennessee did a pretty good job of shutting them down for the whole game. But again, they keep, they continue to hit you with these body blows. And then all of a sudden, late in the game, defense is a little bit worn down. And he, 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 he breaks, breaks a long run that um, gets him into scoring position. So Gardner Minshew and Minshew Mania, um, this is a relatively unknown guy. Um, he got thrust into the starting lineup once Nick Foles went down with an injury. But what stands out to me is his pocket presence and his ability to move in the pocket and buy a little bit of extra time with his legs. This stuck out a little bit about him too, his uh, special situations. And by special situations, I mean scoring right before the half, right before uh, the end of the game. And this is a good throw too, in the fringe area right outside of the red zone. Actually, this is inside of the red zone. So in the red, the red zone play, all seams, putting his safety in the bond, running two players right at him. He has to make a decision. He gets caught in no man's land and can't cover both of them. Probably could have threw to the tight end and scored too. But he makes a good throw to the outside right here for a touchdown. I talked about his pocket presence and his ability to manipulate the pocket a little bit and buy a little bit of extra time. So here you see a few different defenders have a shot at him, but no one gets him on the ground and it becomes a scramble drill. It puts a lot of pressure on the DBs because they had to cover for longer than they normally would, especially in this short part of the field. So then you just go to Sandlot football, everybody starts creating routes, breaking off routes and stuff like that. And Minshew shows a lot of pocket presence right here by buying a little bit of extra time and finding a receiver open for a touchdown late. Those type of things are some of the intangibles that you don't necessarily find. You don't usually find in a um, rookie quarterback, but he has some of those capabilities.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.